Hey, but Bruce, here with another 3 for All, and this is 3 John Norm Licks from 1994 to 2013. And I kind of put the 94 to 2013 span on this because I've located a ton of John Norum, you know, clips and bootlegs and videos. And I've had requests, you know, uh, for months and months for John Norum. And I'm finally getting around to making this lesson. And most people watching this, especially if you're in America, uh, you know, most people first became familiar with John Norum after the final countdown, you know, the, the famous song with the band Europe. And technically Europe's been together, um, you know, they kind of formed in Sweden, like in the early 80s. And I did a little bit of research and I didn't realize they kind of appeared on television, like during this competition. John Norum was the most, you know, voted like the, the best guitarist and Joey Tempest was voted you know, the best vocalist, and they won, like, you know, like the prize or whatever, and they won the studio package to record an album. And that started the band Europe, and I thought that was interesting. It's like, well, they were competing, and then they kind of met, and they recorded this album together, and then the next thing you know, they formed, you know, Europe, and they had a few albums before the final countdown, but somewhere around 1986, you know, Europe just exploded worldwide. And the final countdown is still a very popular song for sure. And I know when I was younger, when I heard that guitar solo, I was just like, what in the world? You know, who is that? And John Norm was on my radar. And Europe kind of had the white snake syndrome in a way, because John Norm, you know, was in the group, recorded a few albums, recorded that album, and then uh, he appeared in the music video for the final countdown. But then the very next video, uh, Rock the Night, uh, featured Key Marcello, and they're kind of hanging out in that hard rock cafe, and they kind of did a little switcheroo, you know, with the guitarist, almost like Whitesnake. So a lot of people didn't realize that there was a change, you know, between Norm uh, to Key Marcello, and I did talk about Key Marcello in another uh, Three for All lesson, and now we're going to be looking at John Norm. But uh, if you're curious, I did notice uh, you can actually buy uh, John Norum's Final Countdown Strat, like the guitar he used on the album and the music video and stuff. Uh, it's on Reverb, randomly. It's like $56,000, but it is for sale. Over the years, I've noticed that John Norum has been popping up uh, on YouTube, he's been popping up on Facebook, and these clips and bootlegs and little candid videos. And I wanted to share at least a few of my um, you know, treasures that I kind of found online. And there's uh, some interesting footage of him playing Eruption in 1994. So here's a clip of that. <laughs> Here's a clip of him jamming with Michael Schenker backstage in Sweden in uh, 2013, which is so cool. The licks in this lesson actually come from two different sources. Um, there's a backstage kind of candid video of him warming up uh, before a show in 2004, and I snagged a couple licks from that clip. And then there's also a live concert, uh, live solo from 2011, and that was in Milan, Italy. And uh, the description, you know, on YouTube, it says, you know, Paul Gilbert watching. And the camera kind of pans over, and they do show, you just see the face, like you just see his head standing off, off stage, and it does look like Paul Gilbert is just standing there like watching John Norum like a hawk. So here's that clip, and you can kind of decide if that's actually Paul Gilbert. I think it is. The first lick comes from that footage from Milan, Italy in uh, 2011 when Paul Gilbert was supposedly, you know, watching him off stage. And I did verify from kind of looking, you know, looking it up that Paul Gilbert was in Milan, Italy in 2011, but I couldn't verify if he performed at that show or if he was a guest, you know, of John's or something. I have no idea, you know, why Paul was standing there. Maybe he played, you know, like a big, a big festival or something. 
But this is kind of a signature lick from John, and it appears in this uh, example, but then it also appears in the next lick too. And it's the slippery bending lick, uh, kind of out of E minor pentatonic and E blues. And it kind of reminds me of George Lynch just a little bit as far as the opening. And he has a wah kind of cock, like a tone filter. So that reminds me of Michael Schenker. But then the phrase itself kind of reminds me of Gary Moore. So it's really cool. It's like this. <laughs> So right there, just think of the box, and we're going to start in the next position of E minor pentatonic, and he's also targeting the flat five right there, that B flat. And then you're going to bend that up out of the box there. And he's doing this kind of, you know, kind of a mutated blues lick there where he's bending 15 on the B and then grabbing the high E and the B on the 12th fret. And then he repeats that phrase. So really dig in and, you know, uh, kind of give those, you know, bends a real, you know, kind of firm uh, fret hand because he's really digging in. There's a lot of aggression and expression there too. The next lick comes from his backstage warm-up video, and we're going to see a variation of the lick that we just had in the first example. Um, but this is now in the key of A, and he was just kind of, you know, talking to the camera a little bit and warming up, you know, backstage, and he just starts pulling out all these cool licks. So you can see that he's kind of recycled uh, that first lick. And this is technically, I guess, before the Milan Italy uh, performance. So, you know, this is probably just one of his, you know, licks that he has up his sleeve or in his lick bag. Um, but it looks like this. And once again, dig in. Kind of reminds me of George Lynch a little bit again. I think it's just that flat five, that targeted flat five movement. It just screams George Lynch. He's also kind of, you know, digging in with his pick and getting some, you know, slight pinch harmonics and... Uh, it's really cool. And there you can see we're starting it the same way we did the other lick. But you're right here. And I love how he's kind of blurring from, you know, A minor and then he's grabbing, you know, that F sharp right there. And then he's kind of spelling like a D7, kind of. But then he ends on that B note, which would be the ninth. And all this is over A, of course. You know, just a really cool lick. slick took place during that backstage footage from uh, 2004 and it kind of reminds me of a hybrid between Eddie Van Halen and Randy Rhodes and he's you know doing some legato and some phrases kind of ends it with a bend and he's combining you know like three different positions on the neck and in the video clip you can hear the audio stayed consistent but whoever shot the video and edited you know that video footage they kind of cut up the video as he was playing because it starts correctly and then you see him end like up here correctly but then there's this random clip they kind of stuck in the middle there. So just refer to the audio, you know, like listen to it, and you can hear it sounds like this. And then we're kind of starting with that Van Halen, you know, hammer on pull off phrase. And then he's going to basically shift into another position, and he's targeting this G major arpeggio, but we're playing it over A. So he's kind of flirting with like, you know, the flat seven of A. And there we've got... There's that little piece of the, you know, G major arpeggio. And then he shifts again into A minor pentatonic up here. And he's grabbing B on the G string, kind of rake bends, or kind of rake picks into that bend, and goes from B up to C, kind of releases it back to B and then bends it up to C again. Something like that. 
<laughs> and once again, he's really digging in and he's kind of, you know, expressive uh, with, you know, the bending and some of the picking movements. <laughs> Here's a bonus lick for this lesson, and this goes back to that Milan Italy footage from 2011, you know, the one with Paul Gilbert supposedly waiting in the wings, you know, watching John Norum shred. And it's this blurry, bluesy, kind of bending, you know, uh, legato phrase. And then he does this kind of really cool phrasing at the end. Um, it kind of reminds me of Gary Moore a little bit, and then just this kind of blues rock, you know, phrasing that's really cool. Uh, but it looks and sounds like this. <laughs> And there you can see we're basically starting with just a stock, you know, blues rock bending lick. You know, E minor pentatonic right here. And then right there, it changes and does something a little different. So that's really, you know, standard and typical. But then right here, he's going to grab B flat, then he's going to grab A, you know, there on the G string. And he's going to bend that A up to B flat and then he picks B, you know, on the B string. So you're hearing this, you know, trio of notes, and they're all kind of blurring and bending and slurring, you know, into each other. Um, so slowly, you got this. And that's that bending phrase there. And of course, he's playing it really fast, but slowly you can kind of hear how you're manipulating and kind of blurring those notes together. Something like that. And then after that phrase... And so right there... Takes his way down to that D note, and then he bends that D up a whole step to E and returns it to D. And he grabs this G right there, bends that up a half step, and then finishes on E. Um, really cool lick. going to wrap this look at three John Norm licks from 1994 to 2013 and there's a ton of footage on the internet I mean you can find old concert footage and TV appearances you know of him playing with Europe and you know there was a home concert you know video that came out around the final countdown period you can hear him play on that you know his solo albums you can find bootlegs and you know clips and clinics and you know like uh clips of him playing, you know, excerpts and licks and stuff for, you know, different guitar magazines all over the world. So definitely, if you start searching around, you can find tons of John Norum. And I just kind of handpicked and selected, you know, this footage because I found it was interesting and it had some cool licks, you know, but you can definitely dig around and find all sorts of stuff. Really early stuff, too. You know, like them appearing on TV and stuff in Sweden, you know, like in 84 and 83 and some of that stuff. But uh, anyway, leave some feedback and some comments. Please subscribe to Late Night Lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content material. Thank you.